wrote this word. <laughs> and then and another, another, you, word, okay. another word. Another uh, word. word. I just spoke it after. And then, oh so my! Basically, God. this piece is not about anybody in particular. It's uh, it's just something that I wrote. It's about love. <laughs> but yeah, it's not. It's not that serious. I met her and everything changed. My whole mindset rearranged and these shackles broken by a simple look in her eyes, disguised as a human she might be, a goddess, because of this demonstration of something that could only be described as perfection. And yo, she's just standing. Like a figment of my imagination, her being and self alone has got me feeling alone because in one instant, I get the feeling that without her, I will never be complete. The thought crosses my mind that she could not be real, just a personification of a blessing or some kind of physical being beyond believing and possibly concocted from my mind. But I should probably stop staring because this light radiating from her just might make me go blind. And in these past few moments, I'm asking myself, is there such thing as time? Because everything seems frozen, including me. Sorry. And every word, every action exhibited by her has got this whole room Floating, but still looking up to see this angel flying above our heads and instead of staying where I am, where she is, is where I need to be. Unequivocally, I am stuck and struck by her eyes that are comparable to moments you want to keep frozen in time and her smile. Her smile has got me thinking I gotta write or, or draw or express or do anything to share this act of God that has me thinking I gotta go back to the fifth grade and take care because yo, I am addicted. Listed are these previously held notions I had of what is beautiful. Thinking somebody should sue me because to come across something so beautiful should be considered illegal. And I'm rambling fragments trying to find her. Sentences seem beyond her. Courage I muster and we conversate. I look to investigate the most beautiful part of her body, her mind. <laughs> I pick it apart with the intent to reach her heart, and as we carry this conversation, we carry time with us. Minutes turn to hours, hours turn to days, days turn to months, to years. And as we have this relationship, this beautiful relationship, I realize one thing, she is one. She says things that sometimes aren't right, does things that sometimes aren't cool, tells jokes that I force myself to laugh to, and at the same time, time still feels frozen and I'm still floating. Blind to what other people see, deaf to what other people hear, because the imperfections I see contributes to the perfection of she, and while technically she's not perfect to the world, she's still perfect to me. <laughs> it's easy to look at yourself and make the conscious decision to be somebody. We wear certain clothes, vibe at certain songs, relate to books and films to reflect the essence of our identities. While this essence is essential, I still stumble mentally because while we worry constantly and try so hard to stand out, my parents at my age struggle to, to stand up. Leaving the third world, redefining their understanding of success to the point where they were no longer content with being surrounded by poverty, coming to America and saying, this is my country. They would make promises to make their parents proud and would rise above any cloud that would shade the rays of their success. I look at my parents and I become proud. Proud because I was raised not only by their ideals, but by the ideals of my people. A people that comes from a country of corrupt politicians, impoverished islands, homeless children, but still would not trade their origins for anything. A people that has made me a witness to families that have little, but would not, oh. <laughs> a, people, a people that has made me a witness to families that have little, but would not hesitate to feed you if you are a guest to their house. We come from a nation whose passion is comparable to the sun, represented on its flag, felt nationwide, and displayed with pride. And while some people say we, all we have is a boxer, we answer no. We have a unity that defines our character. And when that boxer fights, it is essentially an opportunity for us to come together. See, I've come to the realization that none of us are truly unique. We are all the combined efforts of everyone we have ever met, every movie we have ever seen, personalities we come to across, clump together and utilize as our own. When it comes down to it, what makes us truly unique is where we are from. 
We are rooted from a strong people that does not break in adversity, does not relinquish happiness and poverty. And while I personally, and many things, the ability to form my identity starts with my roots, I'm proud to say I am Filipino. Mm. <laughs> 